The popular ice bucket challenge, which raised money for charity, is being kicked up a notch with a Philadelphia area man who's doing his own version of the challenge in every state. But here's the twist. He's being showered with something different at each location. Today in Fargo, with Miss North Dakota doing the honors, the Larry Kaplan treatment, a bucket full of choke cherries or choke cherry juice. In other states, he's been bathed in loaded Bloody Marys, maple syrup, and barbecue sauce, to name a few. But he says his trip to Fargo is one he's not about to forget anytime soon. They taste really good, but they're very sticky, and I've been told that my hair will now be uh, reddish purple for the rest of the trip. <laughs> it kind of looks like a murder scene here, I'm not going to lie. You can watch all of Larry's adventures, including last night's at Target Field, online. Just go to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. Larry's goal is to raise $100,000 for ALS. Kids are looking out for other kids in a big way. And today, some students from Fargo's Horace Mann Roosevelt Elementary are showing just how much they care about kids around here and around the world. These young people are members of the school's K-Kids Club. That's an elementary school organization supported by the Kiwanis. And they have raised $1,000 for the Eliminate Project. That's the Kiwanis Club's effort to rid the world of a terrible disease called maternal neonatal tetanus. In 19 countries, it kills a newborn every 11 minutes. From basil to tomatoes, gardens around the valley are producing some beautiful ingredients for your next dish. Culinary experts say it's important to think outside of your favorite recipes when you're cooking something new. Also, to plan what will accompany the meal. So maybe I'm going to grill some meats, or I'm going to grill some fish, or I'm going to do something, bake some chicken or whatever. What kind of things are going to go well with that? What kind of flavors am I using? All that kind of stuff. So really kind of focus my, my uh, salads and my accoutrement to the flavors of what I'm actually making. We have some recipes up at valleynewslive.com. Just look for this story under the Valley Today tab.